welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One. I got you with all the current news. Let's go. Congratulations to my winner for last week's Who That question. The person got the answer first. Well, I had other entries, but Fairomi was the fastest, and well, he got my goodies for the week. The answer to my question is Denola Gray. Denola Gray is an actor, he is a fashion consultant, and he is an on air multimedia personality. Like, why would he not be my friend in my head? Do you remember the story of Inyobon Umore? Well, the guy in question, Uduak Akman, has confessed to killing Ini. Take a look at this and we'll talk after. So I asked her whether she can work in a farm where I had drugs and kept as a secretary. And she said that she can, that she's ready to do the job. So when she came, I revealed to her that this farm doesn't exist. You know, there's nothing, there's no farm like that. And it was just a hub. Let me put it that way. So then I told her that before she leaves that I would like to have sex with her. But she gave a condition that I should use a condom, which I did. And uh, while I removed the condom, she became furious and she took the nearby stabilizer to hit me on my head. And then she beat my left my left ring finger and tried to reach for the ball. He was screaming and tried to reach for the ball. So while I was bleeding, in able to stop her, I used the stabilizer to tap. And when I hit her, she fell and started bleeding the there after she died. So where did she hit you? On my phone. Was she your first victim? Yeah. Well, how many girls, women, have you done that to? Whether they died or they did not die. How many so far? The same reverse side. Yeah, yeah, how many? How many? Well, reverse of reverse. About six. Six. I remember when I took this story, I also told you that reports revealed that this guy is a serial rapist. Well, he has confirmed that. Now, the moment this video was released and the fact that this guy was paraded, people started to listen to what he was saying and then they were like some things are not adding up and i agree with that fact because at some point he was saying oh she agreed to sex and then he brought out the condom and then she beat his finger and then later he was like she was screaming at some point i was like what's going on but a lot of people just kept on talking about it the unfortunate thing now is in your bong is no more but thankfully she has been properly buried we'll just continue to push this narrative i will continue to say the same things rape is wrong and secondly no means no and until it becomes a language and an anthem we'll continue to just talk about it ah uh, i'm still on this topic bye bye jesha i have been granted bail wait <laughs> let me explain to you now during the week well that was on monday his lawyer his name is additional he came out to reveal that bye bye jesha will be granted bail based on health reasons. Now, we also stated that somebody went on to write a letter to the Lagos Commission of Police stating that Baba Jesha was not doing really good in prison and that um, Baba Jesha was traumatized and was working in a kind of way in detention. After he made this revelation, he went on to say that his team have not granted, uh, he haven't been able to get the bill yet, but they are working on it. And I know that very soon he might just get that bill. It's more like... Um, they using the law to play the law like you, you if you know if you're a lawyer you understand like you're using the law because this is like on health grounds you can't hold somebody and all of that <sighs> now the reactions of this whole thing the moment this news came out a lot of people started talking but i'll start with the most prominent player in this story and that is princess now the moment this came out she posted something on instagram with the inscription i will not win immediately but definitely now let's move to concerned nigerians now on one hand we had some nigerians who were like ah oh, i said it before they're going to move the story under the bus and all of that but on the other hand we had people who were like they believe that <laughs> Things are still going to unfold at the end of the day and that this girl in question will get justice. Then we also had some people who were celebrating Yomi Fabi saying, wow, this man is lucky. He stood up for somebody and he's getting it all right right now. I would just say, do not let us celebrate or jump into conclusions yet. <laughs> Let's keep on watching as we've been watching since and see how this story unfolds.
My heart goes out to Chimamanda Adichie. She lost her mother and posted about it last month. Now, her mother was Grace Ifoma Adichie. She was the very first registrar at the University of Nigeria. The interesting thing is her mother died on the birthday of her late husband, James. And well, people are just calling this love. And then later on, Chimamanda came out to post some pictures of the grandchildren while relieving moments. And I can say that Chimamanda really cherished her parents. I was lucky to be given a great gift by the universe, knowing from childhood what I loved most. I was lucky to have wonderful, supportive parents who encouraged me. And my parents are here today. I really wish her all the best because this is like a shift in the whole thing. Because see, trust me, no matter how old your parents are, you still want them to be with you. You never want to let them go. So it's almost Children's Day and your parents might call you or the reverse or nobody might even call you. I just want to say that you should enjoy it. Enjoy the tantrums your parents throw. Enjoy the times they talk to you. Enjoy the times they play with you. Because take it or leave it, they will not be here forever. So just enjoy it. Tell your parents you love them. This story should not have happened though, but it happened. Singer Lighter was called out by his baby mama for not being able to afford 13k to celebrate their baby's birthday. Like, well, the first year birthday. And I was just like, mm, okay. Now, when she made this revelation, she came out later to say that people should stop sending her money or stop offering to send her money because she does not need it. And I was like, excuse me, ma. What exactly do you want? Because at the end of the day, certain things do not need to come out as I like choose your battles correctly that's all i'm just saying i'm still talking about babies naomi campbell has welcomed her first child well a baby girl and she made this note during the week there were a lot of reactions to this story we were like okay this is not in real naomi campbell but the fact still remains that she is now a mother and she is so excited about it and since may is still being celebrated as the women's well mother's month simi came out to talk about how being a mother has changed her life you know how before you have kids when you see people with children in places where you are hoping for quiet like on the plane like on the mall or you see people where their kids are running around and like why is she why is her baby doing like that why is her child running around like that ah, she could leave us so running <laughs> but raising a kid actually just gives you more empathy makes you very empathetic because you you see you see how it goes most ladies are on this table, but like they say, it is those who wear the shoe that knows where it pinches you. Hey, hey, the way things are going, I literally do not know what to expect anymore. But at the same time, I can probably not even be surprised at anything. So there's this song that has been ringing in the heads of a lot of people. Have you heard of Shedi Balabala? You see this song? It's living like it has built a house in some people's heads they are humming to this <laughs> so i would say some few weeks back some people started jumping on this whole thing and shady balabala means move your butt from side to side and people are just having the best fun <laughs> about the song but if, if you are yoruba and you know more meanings to the song or you want to translate it please let me know in the comment section but let's Take a look. <laughs> On that note, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Lucy's Quick One. Do not have a Balabala weekend. Do not have a Balabala new week as well. I wish you an amazing week and an amazing weekend. Do not forget to subscribe and, of course, share your comments on the stories I shared today. I got you with more news next week Friday. Bye, guys! <laughs>